One of the big announcements was around Gen AI Blueprint. I got to try it hands-on in the, in the innovation lab. Pretty cool. Um, made my own. I posed as a retail banking um, company and created a whole workflow and stuff. But could you first, maybe for those not familiar with it, could you talk a little bit about you know what is it and and you know what's it intended to do? Yeah, great, great question. So uh, in many cases, Gen AI is is used for. I would say for productivity hacks, right? So nothing bad with it. Eh? Like let's say you have a call center and you're doing a lot of conversations, then it's useful to summarize that conversation and play it back to a customer. But that use of AI, whilst very useful, is not necessarily transformational. Yeah? Pega Blueprint is more an example of something that could be transformational in the sense that it let us imagineer kind of new ways of, well, if you want to build a new app for a loan application or... Uh, deciding whether someone can get certain government benefits or maybe something way more exotic. Uh, I think uh, mud logging was one of the examples <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was mentioned in the keynote today. Yeah, then based on very simple prompts of, yeah, what is it what you're trying to achieve? It will generate an entire working application, right? So uh, what are particular workflow or process or what kind of data will be useful, but also what could be the experience for people interacting with this app in, in, in different, uh, different channels. So it's, it's really in that sense an ideation tool, right? So it's trying to put ideation on, on steroids uh, by providing all kinds of examples and starting points for, you know, for such a, an application. Well, yeah, and I mean, I think this, this uncovers a few things that you know, anyone who's been through a digital transformation of any kind, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of hurdles, you know, there's a lot to do even in successful ones, but there's a lot of hurdles to success. And one of those, from my experience, is visualizing the end result, right? So, you know, you can do that in many different ways. You can get different views of different things. But what I was impressed by was the ability to actually get multiple views of the exact same thing as yeah. opposed to like sending out something for prototypes to this one team and like so is that i mean how how in your in your mind you know does that does that help that that end transformation yeah i i think it's it's exactly that that's what it's meant for right so we're listening to a podcast but we're in a typical you know uh, meeting room uh, environment right, right. My definition of hell is when people say, let's develop a new application, let's get into a meeting room like this right. with a bunch of post-its. I want you all to think from scratch and we'll develop everything from nothing. And that, that's, you know, that's, that's <laughs> for me at least personally, a horrible experience. Yeah. Whereas if you can get together with some people and you generate some examples, and, and actually it's, it's kind of nice if they are all kind of the same, but somewhat different. And use it as as fuel to, yeah, fuel the ideation process. It's such a more pleasant experience to, and and, and better experience and faster experience to get to, get to a result. And uh, like you say, people have, uh, it's this this uh, the the you know what is it the blank page writer syndrome. Eh? If you have a blank page, it's very hard to imagine here what it's going to be. Whereas if you have a story in front of you, you can say, oh, I like this part, but I don't like that part. Let me change that, right? So, and this is exactly that. And I think that that will help also involve a wider audience of people to become part of that whole ideation uh, uh, process, not just, let's say, hardcore developers.